Hi, I'm Jim Ward of the Middle Country Public Library, and I'd like to welcome you to Episode 8 in our History Bite series. Today we will discuss the history of our national flag and how we came to observe National Flag Day every year on June 14th. When the American Revolution broke out in 1775, the colonists weren't fighting united under a single flag. Instead, most regiments participating in the War for Independence against the British fought under their own flags. In June of 1775, the Second Continental Congress met in Philadelphia to create the Continental Army, a unified colonial fighting force that would take on the British Army, which was then the world's most powerful military force. This led to the creation of what was essentially the first American flag, the Continental Colors. However, this flag, which was comprised of 13 red and white alternating stripes and a Union Jack in the corner, was too similar to that of the British. George Washington soon realized that flying a flag that was even remotely close to the British flag was not great for morale for the revolutionary effort, so he turned his efforts towards creating a new symbol of freedom for the soon-to-be-fledgling nation. Betsy Ross purportedly designed and created the first American flag. Ross had often recounted a visit that she had received in late May or early June of 1776 from three men. General George Washington, financier of the Revolutionary War Robert Morris, and Colonel George Ross, a relative. During this meeting she was allegedly presented with a sketch of a flag that featured 13 red and white stripes and 13 six-pointed stars, and was asked if she could create a flag to match the proposed design. Ross agreed, but suggested a couple of changes, including arranging the stars in a circle and reducing the points on each star to five instead of six. No official documentation has been found to confirm that Betsy Ross was responsible for creating the very first flag, but it is conceivable that Colonel George Ross, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and her deceased husband's uncle recommended her for the job. Betsy may also have been acquainted with both Washington and Morris, who were reported to have attended the same church she attended. It has also been established that Ross did indeed make flags, as evidenced by a receipt for the sum of more than 14 pounds paid to her on May 29, 1777, by the Pennsylvania State Navy Board for making ship's colors. In any event, on June 14, 1777, the Second Continental Congress passed a resolution stating, quote, that the flag of the United States shall be of 13 stripes of alternate red and white, with a union of 13 stars of white and a blue field, representing the new constellation." End quote. Scholars, however, credit the flag's design to Francis Hopkinson, a signer of the Declaration of Independence who also designed the Great Seal and first coin of the United States. A flag of this design was first carried into battle on September 11, 1777, in the Battle of the Brandywine, the American flag was first saluted by foreign naval vessels on February 14, 1778, when the USS Ranger, bearing the stars and stripes and under the command of Captain Paul Jones, arrived in a French port. The flag first flew over a foreign territory in early 1778 at Nassau, Bahama Islands, where Americans captured a British fort. To date, there have been 27 official versions of the flag when one or more states were admitted into the Union, but the arrangement of the stars varied according to the flag maker's preferences until 1912 when President Taft standardized the then new flag's 48 stars into six rows of eight. The 49 star flag, 1959 to 1960, as well as the 50 star flag also have standardized star patterns. In the late 19th century, school teachers all over the United States began conducting patriotic ceremonies commemorating Flag Day as a way to teach children about history. One such school teacher, Bernard J. Sagrand, is often referred to as the father of Flag Day. He lobbied Congress for many years for Flag Day to be officially observed. Other patriotic groups, including the Colonial Danes and the Sons of the American Revolution, also spent years trying to convince Congress to make Flag Day official. Both President Wilson in 1916 and President Coolidge in 1927 issued proclamations asking for June 14th to be observed as the National Flag Day. 
But it wasn't until August 3, 1949, that Congress approved the national observance and President Harry Truman signed it into law. National Flag Day commemorates the adoption of the flag by, of the United States on June 14, 1777, by resolution of the Second Continental Congress. In the 1950s, when it seemed certain that Alaska would be admitted to the Union, designers began retooling the American flag to add a 49th star to the existing 48. Meanwhile, a 17-year-old Ohioan named Bob Heft borrowed his mother's sewing machine, disassembled his family's 48-star flag, and stitched on 50 stars in a proportional pattern. He handed in his creation to his history teacher for a class project, explaining that he expected Hawaii would soon achieve statehood as well. Initially, Heft's teacher was not impressed and gave him a B- and told the young man that he would consider changing the grade if the, des if the design was accepted in Washington. Heft also sent the flag to his congressman, Walter Muller, who presented it to President Eisenhower after both new states joined the Union. Eisenhower selected Heft's design, and on July 4, 1960, the president and the high school students stood together as the 50-star flag was raised for the first time. Heft's teacher promptly changed his grade from a B- to an A. The 50-star flag we have today consists of 13 horizontal stripes, 7 red alternating with 6 white. The stripes represent the original 13 colonies and the stars represent the 50 states of the Union. The colors of the flag are symbolic as well. Red symbolizes hardiness and valor, white symbolizes purity and innocence, and blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please click like, and if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe. Thank you, and happy Flag Day, everyone.